There are many people out there that will argue that the fact that Cardano, the blockchain, has not had major adoption yet, it's a detriment, that it's a reason that Cardano is going to fail, and simply nobody's looking to utilize it moving forward. And I would argue the exact opposite. I think it's actually more telling what ADA has done during this time where Cardano, frankly, didn't have functionality. If we look back at you know when things actually came online, 2021, smart contracts came online, ability to be, build cheap dApps and functional dApps, late 2022, this has all been done during times where, frankly, the market hasn't been doing that well. There hasn't been much in terms of adoption across the entire crypto space. So we haven't truly been able to see that that stuff actually utilized yet. But I will remind people that even leading up to that time and during this time, there's been a big community that's been built. We've seen advancements in TVL. We've seen advancements in, in development. Remember, Cardano leads all chains in terms of development. And I think that's very telling. Now, what do you think is going to happen when we actually get into the, the great times in a bull market cycle? I want to remind people of where Ethereum was at in its life cycle, okay? Ethereum was built and I believe went live back in 2014, okay? 2015 is when smart contracts were first implemented into the blockchain. 2016 was when DAP, the first DAP was actually launched on Ethereum. And then following that is actually when it started going on its rate of growth. It actually hit about a four, 140, I believe, 100, yeah, about 140-ish million dollar market cap at the height of the market cycle in 2017, hit a $500 million market cap during the last market cycle, okay? It's obviously ramped up over time. There's been more growth and development and things that have taken place, but again, it's taken time to get to that point. Now, what I find interesting is that actually there are very interesting parallels to what we saw during, or what we saw from Ethereum during that time, okay? So this is the market cap chart for ADA. Last market cycle, we hit a height of $100 million. And remember, that was without any any actual functionality, really. I believe smart contracts just came online, so that was exciting. Now, here's Ethereum's chart laid on top of here. You can see that Ethereum followed, followed actually a very similar path to Cardano and ADA's early growth. And now we're on actually a very similar path still. In fact, I would argue that right now, compared to Ethereum's rate of growth, we're actually in a better spot. But here's what people need to remember. It takes time to get to that point. The biggest rates of growth in terms of price and in terms of adoption are late in the bull market cycle. Look at the path that Ethereum followed. It wasn't until post having uh, basically alt season 2015 at that time or in 2015, 2017, when it really truly started to grow. And that's when Cardano can obviously make this run to a $500 billion market cap. All right. That we're, that's where, again, I get the number from $15 ADA. It would not surprise me if we did that at all. The fact that we are entering this, this market cycle with a huge community, massive development, new projects being built and launched all the time, and the real opportunity for enterprise to begin flowing into crypto, it's, it's a big opportunity. It's a huge chance for, obviously, Cardano to take steps forward, a huge chance for ADA Price to take big steps forward. This is why I find it very strange that people are arguing against Cardano. All the signs are there. Right. Many people, they they hone in on one chain and that's their baby. And that's what they focus on. Solana, Cardano, you know, Internet computer, whatever chain it is. Right. There are always going to be maxis. But when you simply ignore the signs that are all there and are very telling, you miss out on things like this happening. That's why, again, it wouldn't surprise me if we look back a year from now. Right. Right now, we're obviously early 2021 and we're somewhere up here. And there's, there are advancements and adoption and projects that are actually heavily being utilized within Cardano at that point. And even more so, a year following that. We're entering mass adoption. We're entering enterprise adoption. Institutional money is getting into crypto. And all these things are going to play a part into the growth of Cardano. Many people don't see it right now, but many people, they, they don't see long term. They don't see the bigger picture and what this actually means and how it can impact prices and adoption. So that's what I wanted to share with people. You know, it's, you know, I hate to preach patience all the time. Obviously, we've talked about Cardano here on the channel for a year and a half, and we've preached patience this whole time. But from that point, it, it truly takes a full four years to get back to where you were before. 
Right now, guys, we're two years into that time. And we got a lot of positive runway ahead. So I appreciate you guys. As always, this is not financial advice. There's no guarantees in crypto, but Cardano has set itself set itself up well for this bull market. Let's see if it can take advantage. Have a great day. Show your love below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.